I have woken up today and I want to paint Toothless life-size on one of my walls. I've had a cold for the past week. I've still got a cold today, but I've got a burst of energy and I'm using it. And I'm gonna paint this wall before Tom gets back. First we sketch out Toothless with the paint. I was gonna go for life size, that being said, I don't think life size would fit in the whole picture of this wall. This wall is actually smaller than I thought it was. It's the cat's wall, this is the cat's room. And that is part of the reason I am doing this because Kirito reminds me of Toothless. There we go. This is a sketch that I planned out, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Then we paint the rest of Toothless in. I am using a gray shade of paint rather than black because I am going to be painting this over again eventually. This room is going under a remodel during the summer, but summer is like six months away, so it could be how to turn your dragon themed until then. give it a second coat of paint. I do want this to have a storybook feel to it, so I am outlining the character. added a mouth but that is gonna go away later because I didn't like the look of the mouth. <laughs> Painting in the eyes a light shade of green, maybe a couple highlight points. Toothless is getting some very minimal scale detail, just enough to look cute. I do have the wall paint on hand and so I'm going to blend it into the base. Then add a couple of grass blades, as well as some grass blades going over Toothless to make it feel like he's sitting in the grass a little bit. Just a little bit. And here we are, this is my How to Train Your Dragon Toothless Storybook Wall Mural, and I did put a little bit of a cat element on his tail. This is Kirito's wall and Kirito's space in our house. He doesn't get the whole room, half of it is storage. But this is Kirito's space, so this is his stuff back in the room. But I think he's good. He's happy. He's good. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye's, goodbye, bye's.